What's up, guys? It is Friday. Today is Thursday. Today is Thursday, damn it. Today all right, we're Thursday. already off to a bad start. But it's all good. We woke up early. We're out here. We're about to do some fishing. We got our MTB Pro boxes. We're about to do a little unboxing. See, we can't get a little slam done today. All right, guys. My turn. Welcome back to another episode of Freight Experience. As always, <clears throat> that time of the month, and we're not talking about Sharky. We're here with the MTB Pro box. We're going to do a little unboxing, do a little slam. This time, me and Tim got. A different box, actually. So really surprised. Um, his box is way better for our location. We're out here at the Delta, and uh, mine's meant for like Tolok or Motherland Lakes. Tim, start us off. All right. So uh, one bait that I really see in here that I like a lot, that I was really hoping for. I got a jig. It's uh, made by Impact Lures. It's got the little structure guard on it right there, as you can see on the back. It's a pretty decent color, black and blue. Pretty good color for the Delta. So pretty good first lure. He got a black and blue. I'm already screwed. So I'm gonna go off with my with my uh, go-to bait for right now. It's a Cinco, yeah, Cinco style bait, stick bite, uh, stick style bait by Savage Gear right here. Uh, this color is yeah, it doesn't have it. I'm gonna say it's it's basically like a watermelon with a little bit of some gold and some silver flake. Gonna have that uh, Texas rig, weightless, maybe wacky rig, not 100 sure yet. But we're gonna throw that. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, let's see, next off, I got some Charlie Worms Super Bowl Shaky Heads 316 ounce. It'll go pretty good with uh, one of the other lures that are in here. His, his, his color, that, that weight's actually pretty perfect right now. But uh, I went ahead and, and I got some by owner. They're the Brush Heads Ultra Head and uh, 316s. It's a green pumpkin with a, a little bit of a clear weed guard. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with that just yet. I may. Maybe put cut that single in half, go with a little bit of a Ned rig, get a little more finessey Bessie in here. But yeah. All right. So next, I'm gonna show you guys the lure. I'm gonna pair up with the Shaky Head. It's uh, the Buddha Baits Company. Uh, it's like a little ribbon tail, nice little natural color, like a little watermelon or whatever. Should be able to catch a fish on that. Guys, I never use ribbon tails, so we're gonna see how that's gonna work. And uh, I went ahead. This is my last soft plastic. It's called the Mad Yabbies, or Yabby by uh, River to Sea. And the color I got is absolutely terrible. It's uh, <laughs> called Purple Rain. It's a purple, a light purple, almost like a violet, with uh, some purple flake. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut this in half and put it on a football head. Actually, a swim jig head with a brown and purple skirt. Going to swim that a little bit, maybe bounce on the bottom, see if we can pick up some fish. But. This is going to be an interesting bait. It's a creature bait. It says creature bait, but it's more of a craw kind of thing. It just has, you know, it has little pinchers on it, a nice appendages on it, but they're just so big. But I think that might work with the swim jig. We're going to try that out because I never throw swim jigs, and I'm kind of scared, actually. All right, next up for me, I got the same plastics he was just talking about. Mine's in a little bit different color, more of like a blue. Uh, the color says America. So, America, guys. So America, America, yeah, that'll definitely catch a fish since it's America. <laughs> you know, being that we're not in Nazi Germany. So, all right. He's lucky. He got a he got a black and blue jig and a black and blue or a blue trailer. They're just screwing the pooch for me today. So I, I'm I'm down to three baits right now, and they're all hard baits. And one of them may work. And I'm gonna start with that one. It's a rattle trap. It's called the Echo 1.75. It's made by rattle trap. It's a little um, little square bill kind of thing. Uh, I've never used these before. It's in um, Blue Shiner. It's loud and it's proud. And I'm going to see if I catch a fish on it. It might be a little hard. I'm going to be definitely just parallel on the banks. Maybe rip it through the grass since Tim caught some doing that before on a jerk bait. There's the secrets. Alright, so I got the same exact one. Different color. Mine's in Ghost Minnow. Uh, color. Pretty nice looking crankbait. Guys, three to five feet it says. Should be able to catch some fish. He's lucky. So I'm down to... Uh, Two baits now, and this last bait is I'm not gonna throw it at all. It dives it dives 10 to 12 feet. I may put it on my heavy rod with a 65 pound test cast king to see if I can get that to about eight, six to eight feet, but we're gonna try that out. It's by Sabeel, it's the bull crank in smoke and blue chrome. Because we all know that color seems to work here on the Delta, not really. Um, it's, I've never thrown these before. I have about three bull cranks I've gotten in MTB since like the two years, three years I've had this. And uh, I've never thrown them. I'm concerned because uh, Tim has a way better box and he's going to beat me today. <laughs> and uh, last but not least, we got the, I mean, you can never go wrong with a Lucky Craft Lure. I'm not a big fan of really throwing any kind of crankbaits with bills on them. You know I like to throw lipless crankbaits, but 
Um, you know, I, I'm never complaining with the Lucky Draft Lure, and it's a pretty decent color. It's in the uh, Pearl Thread Fin Shad, and that should definitely catch fish today, too. So, I got the exact same thing Tim did, and you can't, like you said, you can't go wrong with Lucky Craft. Uh, it dives, it, see, it doesn't say how deep it dives, but I'm definitely going to say about that, maybe 6 to 8, maybe 8 to 10. It's definitely a good looking crankbait, except for the fact that I don't want to lose it. So, <laughs> I'm definitely going to have to pick and choose where I'm going to throw this. Definitely. And uh, so, it's a slam. Are we doing 12 inches or any fish? Um, being that we're out here, out here where we are, this closed location, uh, I say, I say we go with any fish because it, it could be. I mean, if, if things start, okay, if if we start freaking just slamming like you know, you know, little cookie cutter bass like off the bat, then yeah, we'll go like 12, 12 inches and up. But if all we can seem to catch is some little guys, then we're gonna take what we can get. And then if you know, if we go an hour or two without bites, we may switch. We don't even know what the tide is right now. This is completely just shot in the dark. Tim seems to do better on a low tide than me for some reason. He catches fish on low tide, and I just can't catch fish in general because of the Delta, and he's the Delta master over here. That's why his channel is Delta Bass in 209. But like you said, we're going to be throwing all these baits. We're going to be trying to catch fish on all of them. I'm going to be screwed off the bat because last time we fished here, my first cast was uh, with a Ned Rig with little 2-inch, 3-inch uh, sticko little thing by Bass Pro Shops. My first cast to catch fish. That's the only bass I caught that day till like five to eight, you know, like 5 to 6 hours later, I finally caught another one. So... It's definitely gonna be hard for me. I definitely think Tim has the upper hand. Um, I have, I have this. This is not gonna work. I may catch a, I may foul hook a carp to see if that counts. But are we doing only bass? Yeah, we're doing bass. Only bass, guys. No striper. As always. No striper. No striper, nothing like that. So, let's get this slam going. We got. It's the coldest day this year so far. It's like 46 degrees right now. Maybe a little bit warmer actually. I have to check. But as always, my camera. Stay tuned, guys. Let's go get this slam going. <laughs> oh, and by the way, guys, before I uh, start tying some lures on and get at the slam, I uh, also want to give a huge shout out to my first ever fishing sponsor right here. It's uh, Elite Catch Baits. I finally got a little package from them. Uh, fortunately, I wasn't able to order too many baits due to my uh, my funds and, and such. But uh, here we, I just I just got some little stick baits and some craw baits. Um, made by Elite Catch Baits. The cool thing is that they are partnered up with Bass Dynasty. So guys, give them a look. Uh, you can either go to uh, EliteCatchBaits.com or I'll put a link in the bio. In the, uh, yeah, in the bio. And yeah, they got good quality baits. They got anything from like swim jigs, football jigs, spinner baits. Um, they got like all types of plastics. They got apparel. They got all that. So they're a really cool company, and, and they really gave me a good opportunity by sponsoring me. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do it right, and I'm gonna go catch some fish on these if I can mess around and uh, finish the slam up early. So. Yep. Stay tuned. We're gonna catch some fish. Code. Oh, Code. and by the way, look, uh, if you want to receive a little discount on on the, their baits and stuff, uh, put in code Wu Tang Tim Five, all capitals. Wu Tang Tim Five. Uh, that's my own custom code. They're gonna track how much business I get and whatnot. So, yeah, just do me a favor. Go check them out. Get some stuff and uh, keep fishing. Alrighty. So the slam has officially started. There's Tyler. He's gonna go that way. I'm gonna go that way. I got two rods, two reels. So we're gonna make this something happen right now. I might go try to flip these trees or something. We'll find out. Who knows? Who knows what's going on? Ooh, I just spooked something right there. Let's see what we can do with this little. We start off with the shaky head, guys, because uh, I would really want to knock this bait off because of this worm. It's too long. There's a lot of fish out here, but a lot of small fish too. So we gotta see what's what's gonna happen. That is a big worm. I don't know, maybe I could swim it or something. Oh dude, I had a hit right there. No. -uh. Dude, look at that, guys. Look at that. He absolutely took the worm off of... He took the whole rib and tail part. Oh, my God. That's insane. I don't know if I should keep fishing it like that or not. Oh, my gosh. He took the whole, he took the whole tail.
if I should keep fishing it like that. Fish. Let's go. Okay. There we go. Little guy. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure right now. I'm going to give Tyler a call, see what we're doing with uh, size-wise, see if we're going to do 12 inches or not, because unfortunately, you don't catch very many big fish out here, so we might just, we might just do any, any size. I'm gonna let this guy go and give Tyler a call. Tyler. Tyler. <laughs> oh guys, there was a nice little explosion in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Tim. Uh okay, question for you. Yeah. What are we doing with size? What are we doing with size? I just caught one on the uh, the ribbon tail with the shaky head. Uh, probably five to six inch bass. Yeah, no. <laughs> what are we are we doing? Twelve inches or not, man? I th I think we should do twelve inches. It's pretty safe. Okay. At the, at the end of the day, if we don't catch anything twelve inches, then we'll just go from there and we'll stay on any fish now. Okay, so like at the end of the day, if I didn't catch a 12 inch bass, that that catch counts or because I, I want to, I don't want to, I just don't want to keep throwing the same bait, you know, I don't want to throw the, the same bait all day trying to catch a bigger fish on it. It's, I don't really care, it's up to you, bro. Whatever works. All right, I'll make a judgment then. All right, see you, bro. All right, later. All right, so it's pretty early. It's only been a couple minutes. I'm going to see if I can't catch a bigger one on this little shaky head. Stay tuned.